In this video, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite plays to attack man coverage. This play is also really, really effective at being able to attack the blitz, give you some quick hitting options, and is one of the best mesh concepts in the entire game. Now, if you wanna get my entire, we're gonna be in the Colts playbook, if you wanna get my entire Indianapolis offensive ebook, make sure you join the Patreon. We've got several different variations of gun bunch, as well as different variations of uh, tight and tight slots. But we are going to be taking a look at the play mesh spot. So I'm going to go ahead and set that uh, in the audibles. And then what we're going to do is we're going to audible over from the gun bunch. So what you're going to see here, we're going to go to mesh spot. And what I like to do with this play is relatively simple. A couple different variations of this you can run. But my favorite variation right now is I'm going to post the left side receiver on a slot apprentice post. I'm then going to streak the right side receiver. And we're going to snap this ball as quickly as we possibly can. And what you're going to see is these crossing routes will just absolutely get great separation um, against man-to-man -man coverage. So again, we're going to go over to mesh spot. We're going to post the right side receiver, streak or streak the right side receiver, post the left side receiver, and then the the really one of the best routes on the play is this running back wheel. Um, this is the reason you call mesh spot is because. The wheel route to the running back just destroys man coverage, as you see right there. If I freeform and high point up into the outside, you'll see right here that it's very difficult for the, uh, the, the linebacker to be able to play him in man-to-man -man coverage. They pretty much have to have some kind of uh, knockout ability over there or something um, to be able to you know get any kind of uh, separation or to be able to help with any kind of separation. So... Another thing that you might start to see is maybe they do some something like this right here. Uh, they start to kind of adjust over on that pocket uh, of the of the route. And then what this does is it leaves this post over the middle of the field. So as you see right there, now the post could get open um, and just get more space because of the way that they're going to have to adjust to the running back route. So as they start to adjust to the post, so let's say now, uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, Let's say now that the user uh, decides to use the post, then we're gonna have something like this. So you'll see right here, let's say we did these adjustments. Got the third over there to kind of help. This guy's gonna play more like a mid-read. And then what you're gonna be able to do uh, is you're gonna be able to hit your little check down drag routes. These drag routes are really good out of tight slots. They get separation against man and zone coverage. Uh, and as you can see, just a really, really good wrap combo. Now for zone coverage, if you want to stop, if you want to snap the ball, uh, or if you want to run this concept against zone, my recommendation would be to go ahead and make sure that you're on the right hash mark or to flip the play. And the reason why is because this is just going to make sure that now the zones will get cleared out. And <clears throat> as you can see, my post is running wide open over the middle of the field. I just got crazy shut in because of practice mode. Even some three of practice mode is insane. Uh, you know, but what you'll see right here is this should be pretty decent against zone coverage. Uh, right in that little pocket right there. Boom. Take that read over the middle of the field. Now, what this means they have to do with their user um, is their user basically has to user the post. So it has to kind of look something like this if they are going to run zone on you. Now, in that case, what you should be able to do is check down to one of these drags. Um, over the middle of the field, or you see right here, the running back can sometimes just bomb over the top of these zone coverages. That was a cover three coverage, and the running back was able to get over the top of him. So, you know, honestly, this play is really, really good uh, against man. It's okay against zone. Really, the main read you have against zone is you're looking to either hit your post or you're looking to hit your tight end drag on the left side. So you see right here, uh, I can highball the post, I'll high by the post. Or if they climb with the post, then you want to be hitting your tight end route. So let's say, for example, that they climb on the post, then the running back should pull out the flat zones, and there should be a little pocket to throw the tight end route over the middle. So you see right here, flat zones wind out, check down the tight end, easy read over the middle. Tight slot Southback Week is really effective for attacking man coverage. And really, it does a great job of attacking zone as well. Uh, this specific setup is really 
uh, effective for any kind of blitz or any kind of man coverage. It does okay against drop eight zone, but really it's it's really, really, really effective uh, for attacking any kind of man-to-man -man coverage. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. And if you want to get my entire uh, tight slots half back week offensive ebook, make sure you become a Patreon member today. It's only $10 and it'll get you access to all of my bad 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. You can sign up by heading down to the description and going and clicking the link down below.